and iSchool. As the future moves to the small screen, so does opportunity. Everybody wants to know about this stuff and every, every employer wants to be able to do these applications. Smartphones and smart students. It's a growing complaint among university professors, students ignoring their lectures while surfing the net on handheld gadgets. But one university is actually encouraging students to find new uses for their iPhones. In fact, it's a course requirement. The CBC's Cameron McIntosh has more. There's a photo of you. Like a lot of students, it's not hard for Francis Chari to get consumed by his iPhone. He has good reason. Welcome to another class of Computer Science 298. Here at the University of Saskatchewan, the iPhone is not just a pastime, it's a credit course. The first of its kind in Canada. Everybody wants to know about this stuff and every, every employer wants to be able to do these applications. Part music player, part phone, it's easy to see how for a lot of students this would be 100% distraction. But the University of Saskatchewan believes that one day this may be the way we all compute. The iPhone and its chief rival, the BlackBerry, are the leaders in the growing field of smartphones, basically handheld computers. Students are learning to build apps, programs that can do anything from the essential like banking or just trivial gaming. In your hand convenience, instructor Chad Jones says, may allow the smartphone to overtake the PC. It may. Um, for some people I've talked to, it already has, that they carry the iPhone or, or their particular smartphone with them at all times, and they have basically given up their computer at all. I guess I can get information about that particular class. Joan's well. own iPhone app, designed to help U of S students find classes, check grades, and follow news, is a hit on Apple's iStore. Other Canadian and American universities are licensing the technology. A BlackBerry app and course is also in the works. Smartphone learning could go a lot further iPhones are mandatory for some courses at one American university. Now you got to do it on your own. In order to pass iPhone, students here have to develop their own app. The tough part, says Chari, isn't mastering the code, it's deciding what to make it do. It's only limited by your imagination. How do I no add another action here? Apple is watching what happens here, just in case one of these students comes up with a big hit. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Saskatoon.